So after the video the other day, you all seemed to enjoy us exploring the woods, so we decided to get my metal detector and just to see if there's anything else around, see if we could find anything, um, just to give us some clues as to where it is, because we genuinely have no ideas. Um, it doesn't make sense, the stones where they are, um, it makes absolutely no sense that there was a building there. Um, so whether they've been dumped, whether there was a building, if we find something in the ground it might give us an idea, so let's go and have a look. So I've not had a chance to actually have a look down here yet, so I want to actually have a look at the stones themselves, see if there's any in, anything interesting, even with the stones, see if there's any carvings, see if there's any that are carved out, and yeah, actually find out what's going on. So let's go and have a look. So even just the first one I see, this looks like it's been carved out, whether it be a frame for a door or a window or whatever, it does look like it's carved and all of these stones, they look like they've all been faced. So I can see what Terry was saying, I can see why he's finding it interesting now. Um, and one thing that we do know is it, at the Chateau, everything that was built within like a 40, 50 year period was built with the same stone. So between say, I think it was 1780 and 1820, we've got all the same type of stone and this is the same type of stone. I know some people had said it could have been a graveyard. The stones are a bit big um, to be a graveyard. Some people have said to, it could have been um, a dumping site. But these stones, they're just too big. So we've got this one here. Now, if they've made a mistake with it, um, it's too expensive to have just thrown away and dumped it here. So I can't imagine that they've carved it wrong and just thought, well, I'll dump it because a piece this size, you could then make into something else and on the bottom of it it does absolutely look like it's been faced so again i'd say that there's been some purpose or some building here and um, we've had a look on the ordnance maps we've got ordnance maps there from 90, 1812 um, and on the other side of the forest and um, there is actually a building a structure which for me that would make sense there wouldn't have been a chapel here uh, and i can i can categorically say that it's too far away from the chateau it's you wouldn't have had the people walk down the drive and then walk into here and again there's some big trees behind you there behind the camera i'll get terry to pan around and show you but they've been here since the woods were here we've got ordnance maps from i think from the 1700s and this has always been a forest so if there was a building here in my eyes i would personally say that it's it's been a, a like a hunter's lodge or a um yeah a hunter's lodge or a ground maintenance lodge but again, I, I don't see why you'd have it here. It just makes no sense. So here's one of the stones that we've come across. And again, this is why I'm saying that it, it's been used in a building. If you look at this, this has been carved out. It's actually been set out, whether it's been for, I don't know, the opening for a shutter on a window, um, whether it's been for something for, it looks like part of an old, I don't know. I don't know. Just the way that this is done, that's not a natural, um, it's just not natural and you can see the actual chisel marks in it so this has been carved out for this reason what reason the reason is we don't know and again i think if there's been a chapel here it's on the other side where we've got a building on the 1812 maps so again it could well have been there could well have been we're just going to have to do some investigative work and see if there's anything else around here that gives us an idea if we find absolutely nothing here in the ground then i think what we'll do is we'll go up the other side of the woods we'll do some digging there because i'd say if anything there'd be a foundation down there somewhere so we might actually find something i've brought the shovel and the metal detector so i'm going to get on with that now have a look around here and see what we can find so we've got the big piles of stone here and it is in four or five different piles and again they are all faced they have all been used for a building at some point and we know through here we've got a little gate so there's a clearing right the way through here. Nothing's grew, there's nothing here. So for me, if, if there was a building here, it would have been a, 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 like a hunter's lodge or a woodcutter's lodge. We know that these woods are about 300 year old and you can see with the size of the trees themselves um, that it's, they're old trees. They've been here a long time. But this path leading to it, it's just perfectly clear. And again, we've got the little gate here. 
which the top of our main drive, it's set in, I'd probably say 30 meters in off the drive. Um, whether this field was all pastures before, whether it has been like, I don't know, for, uh, I genuinely don't know. Like I say, it's, it's perplexing right now. We've got the main road out the front and that's always been there. So the drive's always been, that's been the main entrance. Um, the N12, it's the King's Road, it's the road from Bordeaux to Paris and it's always been a, a main road. So as long as the Chateau's been here, that road's been here as well. And we know some of the origins of the Chateau, it goes all the way back to the 1500s. Um, it was a little manor house, then made into a big manor house in 1755. And then the chateau was created as a chateau in 1806 when the turret went on the front. So I think we just need to do a bit more investigative work. Have a look, see if we can find anything in the brush here. Um, like I say, we've got some nice big clearings and I'm sure if, if there was something here that was being used, whether it was, I don't know, a farrier, whether it was um, a hunter's lodge, I'm sure that there'd be something in the ground that we'd be able to find. So I'm going to get the metal detector out now, just pan over this area, see if we can find anything. And yeah, I'm sure there'll be something interesting if there was something here. Well, not that I needed a metal detector to find this, but seeing the size of it, have we missed this? Um, we've got another ring. So, let's have a look. Not heavy at all. Oh! So this is the third one we found around here, and they're fairly close located. The other ones are about 25 metres from here. Um, but they're definitely cartwheels. I think you can see with the... Um, where the, oh, what they're called, the centre, the spindles, where the spindles would have been. And again, they've been here a, a good amount of time. Um, we haven't even got the centre, but I might run the metal detector around here, see if we can find the centre spoke, um, you know, that went onto the axle. See if I can find that, I'll move this out the way so it doesn't affect the metal detector. That'd be quite nice, because I don't, they're too big to be barrels, definitely too big to be barrels. So I'll just wheel this away. So as here we are onto the main driveway itself, the building, if there was a building there, which I'm dubious as to where there is now, um, would have been set back about 10 meters. And again, the only logical building I can see from that would have been a, like a hunter's cabin or a woodcutter's lat cabin. And, and I, I don't see that, it's not feasible for it to be there. Um, the shadows behind us about halfway down. So definitely, definitely not a, a, a chapel in my eyes, because um, it would have just been too far away from the main building itself. If there was going to be a chapel somewhere, we've seen on the ordinance that behind the chateau there was a building there at some point. And that logically is, for me, where a, a chapel would have been. It could well be that it's fell down or they've knocked it down and these stones have been dumped there from that. So it could very well be the case. We genuinely don't know. I think what we can do, we know there's a couple of points of interest on the land. At one corner of the land, we know during World War II, um, there was an anti-tank position. So... I think it'd be interesting to go and have a look, see if there's any remnants of anything there. We're not going to find a tank, or I don't think we will, but I think it'd be nice to go and have a look and, and see if we can find anything down there. And then obviously we have where the old building was, um, or where we think the old building was, according to the Ordnance Survey. It might be nice to go and just see if we can dig down to see if there's any foundations that have been left there. 
because again they're not going to have had massive excavation equipment to get rid of this this has been there i'd say well over a hundred years looking at the way that everything's grew up and over it to the point at which you can barely see it so i think what we'll do we'll go and have a look see if we can find any foundations i've got no joy there i'm going to go down to the front and i'm going to have a look just see if i can dig up any old world war ii relics So I've just came in the woods to get a couple of shots um, while Ash is just having a little rummage around up the top there and on one of the mounds I noticed just a bit of like an orangey colour so I've just literally pulled the top of the ivy off here to see what it is because there's a couple of smaller mound, like mounds around where the, the four big ones are and literally underneath I found loads of old tiles roof tiles look at this one how beautiful that is which I think is one of the edging ones but there's just a a full mount of tiles here so there was obviously it's, it's from some sort of building on the land not sure if it was here or if it was somewhere else but yeah obviously just Finding these now, this has just definitely confirmed that all of the stone that we're looking at is definitely from some sort of building. Um, to find all of the terracotta roof tiles here and all of the stone there, and then like I said, there's bits of wood and stuff like that there as well. So, yeah, we did it. I literally just came in here just to get a close up couple of shots of what Ash has been looking at and just noticed this under a small mound. I'll quickly show you where I am now because you wouldn't really notice it, it just looks like a, a mound of ivy really. Um, but I literally just took the top part off and just seen a couple of slates and then towards the bottom was this beautiful end one. So yeah, so the mystery continues but while I'm here now getting a couple more shots I'm going to have a little look around and see what we can find. So we've been looking at the old ordnance maps from the 1820s and there was 100% there was a building here and it was a fairly big building for it to be on the maps because a lot of the others aren't on the maps at that time either so I think there's been something substantial here and I think that's what we're going to find is the rocks that are over there being moved from here because these trees are all fairly new this cops in the middle here so I can't imagine that from the chateau you'd want to see a pile of rubble laid here so I can imagine that they've carted it all the way over to the other side um, so I think it's worthwhile looking. We're in Butterfly Meadow here, this is what we call Butterfly Meadow and in, in summer it is just so joyous with all the, the creatures and insects. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to go and have a look over there, there's a little clearing in it um, and see, just see if there's anything there, see if there's anything that links the two together and then we can try and go from there. 
So even just getting here, I can see that the stones, there's a few stones dotted about, big ones like what we've seen over there. Let's have a look. So this is completely clear. There's no trees. There's nothing really of any size that's grew up through this. So in my mind, I'd say that there's been something here um, and there might be a foundation underneath because there's nothing grew. So again, as you can see here, we still have quite a lot of the same type of stone, which is exactly the same pretty much as what we've just found in the forest over there. So it does lead me to believe that whatever's been dumped there has come from here. So they're all exactly the same type. I'll try and get some out so you can see. Again, they're not random stones. They have been cut and faced. So they are bricks of something that obviously once stood here. Again, we're gonna to have to do some more investigating. So here we have the old um, farmhouse that used to belong to the chateau as well. So again, this would have been the front. So the farmhouse would have been at the front of the chateau and there's what would have been, there would have been one, two, three sets of steps. So some of you will have seen the curvy steps going in the secret garden, but we also believe that there was another set that came up from the farm into secret garden, up into wall garden, onto the terrace and into the chateau. So yeah, the farm I think was sold off. When was that sold off? 1884. So it was obviously of no purpose to, to whoever owned the shop at the time, which we think is the Polino family at the time. So it obviously served no purpose, so they've sold it off. And I think they've sold off a lot of the land from what we can tell in the archives at around about that time. So, yeah. So here we are, right at the boundary of the back of our land. Um, it does go on, it goes around this house. It goes right the way down to the end of the trees there, you can see, and then it goes up about a mile. Um, towards Lentilair, which is the back part of our land. But this is what used to once belong to the chateau, this holding. Now we know this because we've seen the tenancy agreements for it and we see actually seen the sale deeds as well. That's how I know it was 1884 when they got rid of it. But you can see this is an old pathway in and down here is all the rubble of the old stairs that used to once be here. And it would have literally been in a straight line so they step from the secret garden into the walled garden and then straight up into the chateau itself. And we know when they've done everything here, everything has been done very symmetrical and very in line, straight lines and things like that. So it absolutely makes sense that this was another set of stairs from down here, straight up to the chateau itself. So yeah, just a nice little bit of history. So you understand the place and we understand it a bit more. But we also know when you look here, um, th there's a piece in the one of the, the agreements that the reason that the chateau ended up being perched as high as it was. So the left-hand side, as you look at it this way, used to be an old manor house from the 1500s. They made it bigger and into the chateau in the 1750s. And the reason they did that was they had to build the land up. So as you look from here, it sits to, perched atop the land. And wherever you go, when you're walking about out here, you can see the chateau that sits above everything. And the reason for that is the chateau used to own every bit of land that you could see within sight and it wanted to be able to keep an eye on it and so it could be managed. So that's the reason it is why it is. And we know that it's actually been built up. It, the original manor house probably would have sat at the level, maybe the walled garden might even be in the level of the secret garden itself. But yeah, it's a really interesting little, just interesting the way it's perched and, and how it's evolved from what it was from the little manor house into the big chateau we see now. But I want to get down the front now to start doing some digging. So I'll see you down there.
So I've come down, and it's the first time I've actually got a strong signal. Yep, strong signal. It's not shown as the iron; it's shown as ten cents. So it's definitely some, yeah, something. There. Hopefully, it won't be a chunk of iron like we've been finding. Yep, there's something in there. Let's have a look. in this yep Let's see hey actually found one it's not whole but yeah it definitely looks like an anti-tank bullet so it means that what we've been told about here is is feasible and um, like I say we were told there's an anti-tank um, station at the end it's still got the pin and everything it hasn't got the end in I have to get it cleaned up so it's like treasure we have treasure so I've got my second piece of treasure for today and I'm absolutely over the moon it's kind of just filled in some of the gaps that we have like say we've got pretty much nothing from 1900 onwards we know Paul Plino died I think it was the 1910s 1920s and I think it was Madame Boulon um, bought the chateau in the round about the 20s or the 30s but we don't know what happened during the war we know she was destitute um because this this field used to be full of trees um, and she sold them all off but we had heard stories that because of the importance of the roads that the germans had took over the road at the time and they had anti-tank stations and i think we were we were also told that the americans um actually came and, and um took the germans out at this spot as well but like i said we had heard about um, anti-tank and these definitely look like uh, an anti-tank bullet um, Again, I'm not an expert in it so if any of you have any sort of idea so I'm guessing there'd be a tip on it as well at some point um, but if any of you know anything about them so let us know but it's just been nice to actually finally piece in some of the little questions that we had about round here and like I said for me this is treasure it's probably absolutely worthless but it means the world just to actually fill in some of the gaps so we hope you've enjoyed our little exploration today we will be doing more now because i think it's it's worthwhile and we know that there's stuff here and there's there's definitely things that we can uncover i think having a look around here we found these fairly close um to the road area to the actual crossroads which is where we told the station was so we'll do some more if you've enjoyed today let us know in the comments tell us what you think um if you're a, a weapons expert what type of bullet is this because we genuinely have no idea um, remember to like and share with your friends and subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed and we'll see you in the next show if you'd like to be part of our journey and help restore the chateau then please join us on patreon where you'll be part of our journey receive a piece of the history get exclusive videos.